Hello friends, I'm so glad you could join me today. I am documenting my journey on becoming debt-free again. So welcome to Second Chance Budgeting. I'll be exploring cash stuffing and unstuffing, finding ways to increase my income and saving towards some big goals, all while digging myself out of debt once again. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you join me during my adventures. So today I am going to do a quick cash condensing before um, I stuff for December. Um, if you watched my last video, um, or my last couple of videos, you'll know that I just went to the ATM and grabbed some 20s, um, and I managed to save quite a bit in November, and so I just wanna cash condense um, those, those folders, those envelopes, and um, when I stuff my other, like for my expense categories, I wanna have some of the smaller bills. So um, let's get into it. As you can see, I just have a quick $400 here and I'm going to go through my binders very quickly and cash condense. All right, so we'll set these up like so. All right, let's get into my main um, debt and savings binder first and just see what I can do if I can do anything. So medical, let's see, I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 101. So I'm gonna switch that out. In my extra debt, I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So I'm just going to switch that out for two 100s and we'll just leave the other 60 in there like that. And then my emergency savings, I want to say I have 100, so I'm hoping to swap that out for one big bill. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, perfect. Right. now that we have that out of the way, I am going to stuff today a total of 760. So that was 400. And then I have um, my other amount, 360. So I'll just count everything just to double check that it is 760 and um, I didn't miss bills along the way. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So 760 is what I've got. So let me set this up. I do have some supplies coming. Um, so hopefully that'll um, allow me to have a little bit of a better setup for next time. Um, but for right now, this, this is working right now while I'm getting started on, on all of this. All right. So I'm going to be stuffing my expense categories for December, and then I'm stuffing $400 into my sinking funds. So for the month of December, I stuffed $200 into food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my smaller denominations and stuff that into food because I actually do use cash in that category. My other categories, I typically just use my credit card and then um, unstuff that cash and pay myself back to pay off the credit card. Um, but in food, I do actually use cash quite a bit, um, especially when I am eating lunches. It's just a little bit easier for me. So let me grab this. So one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so that's 20. So I just need 180 more. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. Plus this other 
20 that I already counted out, so that'll be 200. So 200 will last me um, for the full month, or it should at least. If not, I do have a surplus set up um, just in case, you know, I need to go to dinner or um, eat out with friends or um, buy some extra food just because food is so expensive these days. All right, 100 for gas, 20, 40, 60, 81. And that is generally enough to get me through the entire month. Now, I do know that I'm going to be heading up um, to my mom's house for Christmas. So $100 will not do that, um, but I do have other money saved in my holiday fund and I just plan to use that. Um, you know, hopefully in the future I can be saving more um, to cover those gas expenses, especially when I know they're coming up, but I feel pretty confident this time that I can cover it in my holiday fund that I have set up. And then $60 is, goes for others, so this um, takes care of Anything that I need in December, um, toiletries, household stuff, laundry supplies, uh, going to the laundromat, just anything else that isn't covered under other sinking funds. Um, I know this is kind of a small amount to be stuffing for the month, but um, I'm challenging myself to be able to do that and still have some leftover. So that's my challenge. It's, it's not a no spend month, it's just a spend very little month. Okay. In my other binders, we're going to be stuffing into sinking funds. So for this paycheck in December, oops, um, I want to stuff $40 into down payment. So, so far I've managed $40 every paycheck, um, but I'm hoping to reevaluate that for the new year and hopefully be doing a little bit more. Um, so total I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. That's everything for that. Oops. Let me start with this other one just because of my my list off to the side. It's um, in a specific order. So, um, okay, so I do need $100 in medical, 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm hoping that by the end of December, I'll have a little bit better idea of what I'm looking for as far as my medical bills. Now, if you're new to my channel, um, I, I obviously did get out of debt free, out of debt, um, prior. So if you're new to my channel, um, I have already had a debt free journey. Um, th then life happened and, um, I had to purchase a new vehicle and go into debt on that. And I also had a medical emergency, which put me into debt as well. Um, so those are my two main debts I'm trying to get out of very quickly. Um, I, you know, if, if any of you have had any kind of hospital visit or anything like that, you know that it takes a while to get those bills. Um, yeah, it, it just takes a really long time to get bills from the hospital and from the doctor and from the lab and all of that. So I'm really just hoping that I'll, um, get those final bills or at least start to have an idea of how much I'm looking at um, in owing. Um, so I'm right now I'm just trying to really um, put as much as I can towards it and then um, start paying that off. So right now medical I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 201. Um, I'm going to be able to put $40 towards extra debt, this check. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Uh, 
Um, in my emergency savings, I'm going to put 40 in there. And again, my goal on this is a thousand. I do have another emergency fund um, that's in the bank at the moment, but I've just realized the importance of having an emergency fund. So I'm going to save up another thousand dollars to put into that fund. That's my goal at the moment. Um, I'm always looking to increase that though. Um, let's see, savings, I'm not gonna do this time. I am gonna put some money at the end towards savings challenges, but um, I'm not putting anything in savings at the moment. A month ahead, I do have some money in the bank. I'm not stuffing the envelope though at the moment. All right. I'm skipping clothes this time. I'm putting $20 into fun. So I've got $40 in fun. I'm gonna put a 20 into travel. 2040. I don't have any trips planned, but one thing that I, I would like to set as a goal for 2024 is to be able to travel somewhere. Because of my health issues, I haven't been able to travel for a couple of years. And that's one of the things that really brings me joy. So I would just love to have cash in this envelope so that I'm able to just travel um, without going into debt. Car registration, I'm gonna put a 20 in there. So I've got 20, 40, 60. And then holidays, I'm gonna put 60 in there. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80. And um, in an upcoming video, you'll see me unstuffing this holiday envelope <laughs> as I hopefully finish up my holiday spending very soon. And then I'm going to add $20 into hobbies. And then my last $40, like I said, I'm going to be putting into savings challenges. For right now, I'm just going to add this money here. Um, I am going to come out with a separate video just to explain what, how I'm going to set up my savings challenge binder, what I'm going to do. Um, but as you can see, it is tied to various goals that I have to be revealed later at a different date. All right, so yeah, I've just set myself up for the month of December. Um, again, I get paid bi-weekly, so um, I will have another sinking funds video coming out with my last um, check which happens um, very late in December. I think it's on the 29th, if I remember correctly. But for right now, that's everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please do all the things. Like, leave me a comment or question, and subscribe for more. I'll see you soon in the next one. Have a good day.